National Bunny. Uh, it's a small fry pattern. It's a great pattern for stickleback or any small fry, uh, and it's within the international rules. So it's certainly a, a fly worth having your box as well. It can give a great impression of some of the bigger nymphs, uh, depending on the colour you're doing. But I'm just going to work with the natural. I'm using natural rabbit. I mean, in this case, I'm going to use a white thread. thread. Simply start the thread at the eye of the hook and put down a layer of thread all the way along until basically when you let the thread go it's in line with the barb and then remove the waste. Now for the tail I'm just using some natural rabbit. I'm just going to bring it 90 degrees from the skin which slightly lines up the, the ends. Need a good pinch so then cut it, cut it away from the skin. Now what I normally do is come in and then take away some of the fluff. And you don't need it all. But you could use this as dubbing, don't throw that away. Now I'm going to stack it. I've got a small hair stacker here. Put it in by the tips. And then tap it on your desk. This just lines them up a bit better for you. Helps to keep the fly within international rules. Now the length, length of tail should be the length of the shank. Now you've got if you've got a card you can measure this. There's a couple of fibers just a wee tad too long. Take them away. So there's my length there. And I tie that on the top. Every so often I wax my thread. Just I've got a piece of wax on my finger here. Which helps obviously. It keeps it warm. Makes it much, makes it soft so that I can put the wax on. Plus, it saves me picking it up from the table. Then, at an angle towards the eye, full length of the body. Nice and tight, take a thread all the way up, tying this down. It's a very simple pattern, easy to tie. Take a thread right towards the eye. Anything that's going forward, like a bit of fluff or anything, just draw it back out of the way. Just have a look at the tail. That's okay. Now what I'm going to do on the way back down, I'm going to tie in a small silver wire. And this is a wide Mirage tinsel. Just the UTC Mirage, Opal Mirage. And I catch basically on one on the side, make a loop, form round over the back. Catch it on this side. This is going to add a bit of flash along the sides. And then I'm going to keep it tight and take my thread all the way down to the tail. This point here. Just make sure, even take your thread back up, everything's nice and tight. That's what you want. And then just tear some of the rabbit fur from the skin. There's a dubbing. And then all we have to do is mix it within your fingers with the guard here and the under for everything all together throw into your thread now don't be shy put plenty on and then you want to form like what I like to form is a taper shape like up to the centre really heavy and then taper it back down towards the eye. But make sure you've got plenty on. Just a minnow type shape that you're looking for. Maybe a bit more. I so say you need a good thick body. Take your thread to the front. Anything going forward, just draw it back. Now, then get your Velcro. In this case, I've just got some Velcro and a lollipop stick. Um, this is why you put plenty on. You brush, I use the Velcro to bring out the fluff in the top and under guard the guard hair and under fur. Give it like a Mohican and do the same on the underside. Bring the Mirage down either side, nice and tight, but on the side, and then bring a thread over two or three turns. 
At this point, you make sure you, the tinsel or the mobile is sitting on the sides where you want them. Nice and tight. What I do, take the thread down to the eye and then draw it back. Pull it back. And then remove the base piece of the, mir the mirage on either side. You just have to catch the edge and it'll tear. And then come up through with your wire, protecting. Oops, just make sure your thread stays on. Slipped a wee bit there, so just be careful. Times if you're going to be doing stuff, just a wee half hitch. That stops it slipping and falling off. Bring your wire up through. Just make a wee space in between the rabbit and your dubbing as you go. Just work your way up. And one pull turn at the head. Come up beside your thread. A 90 degree bend into the wire. And then secure it in. Bend and break it off. Now, once you've velcroed or brought it through, make sure the hair's sitting where you want. Especially the tail, just see where the tail is. And if you look, if I brush this back with the velcro, you'll see what happens is, once that's in the water, you get a lovely teardrop shape or minnow shape. And that's what you're looking right. for. You can either put jungle cock on here, or you could use a, an adhesive eye, or like in this case, this is a silver adhesive eye. Or you get the red ones I like using as well. First thing you've got to do is split finish, take the thread off. Now, best stuff on the market just now, and I've only recently got it, is Bug Bond. It's great stuff. It's great stuff to use. Um, certainly better than any of the epoxies. Are, you've got the five minute epoxies or so that you get. This just makes everything much easier. You don't have to mix or do anything other than add a light. Now I'm going to put a small adhesive eye on either side. Totally transforms the look of the fly when you do this. So we quick look. Get the position that you like. And then get your bug bond. It's very simple. Just you could do it in two parts really if you put some on the top first. Onto the eye. Now you can actually bring it onto the the mirage as well. Just run it along, which will help protect it. Now, we drop on the top, just in between the eyes. Make sure you're clean. Or Put the lid back on, then we get your UV light, and then set it. It takes seconds to set. And that's basically it really. Just a wee drop underneath. Get some more again. To form a nice head. You're better with the finer point on this. I'm just being lazy. Work it around. There should be plenty. There we are. Just some light on it. So easy to use. It's a doro. And that's the small stickle back pattern. Comes within in international rules as well, which is even better. So it is. So it's set. Solid. You see it makes a great wee, wee fry pan. And that's your international bunny. You can fiddle with the pattern, you can make it black, you can make it all colours. But this is the original.
Maybe not. Let me explain. 